Okay, so we have to look at our pattern and make sure we know what we're doing for our pattern. Okay. So this distance, let's grab a pencil. This distance right here is five from the top. Okay. Five from the top. That's five. That's five. That means the center piece, the center point right here is three up and three down because this is a six. Okay. So what you're going to do here, just in your head, imagine that and imagine this being a three and this being a three. Okay. That will give you, if you draw a line here and a line here, that will give you obviously six and then 10 with the five and the five to make a total of 16. So let's do that. That's the next step. Okay. So grab your ruler, decide on which line you want to use as the main reference line. And I guess it really doesn't matter, but we'll put it in the center here. Hold it just like that right in the middle and you grab your knife. Okay. And you go one, two, three, and make a little line right at the three. And then down from that. One, two, three. Make a little line with your knife. Three mils below that center point. So now you have two little notches. Three mils above and three mils below. Okay, so again, we're going to eyeball this. But be very careful. Make sure you start with the blade on the side like this and then roll it up like that and pull back or forward, push forward. Okay. So we're lining this blade up parallel with the line we already created We're going to make sure it's perfect. And also use the back half of the blade because the front half it's, it's more flimsy, right? It's farther away from your finger, your point of control, right? So use the base as you'll have more control. Just like that. That's that's right on that line. You're going up, right? You see that it's right on that line, and then you pull back. All right. There we have our first upper line, and then now we're going to do our lower line, okay? So again, parallel to this reference line, up, then you're going to pull across, gently. Okay, so now what do we have here? One line with five mils above it. We have a center line here, between the center line and the first line that we made here, that's three. Center line and the second line here, that's another three. Okay, and then this second line here to this end is five for a total of 16 across. Okay, so that's important because when we look at this, we need five here. We need five here for this sloped angle here. It's, it's the same. So here to here is five. Okay, and we can tell by adding these up. This is five, this is three, this is three, that's six plus five, we need another five here to make 16. Okay. So we can look at this and realize that we only need to make one line all the way across to uh, outline the trough or the base of this saddle and this notch here. Okay. So we're going to look at our soap. We're going to say, which one do we want? Well, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to take the top. Okay. So the top guy here and just very quickly take the blade and kind of run it one mil over the end. Just for more accuracy, take the blade, run it one mil over the end. And what that does, that just creates a little line here so you can see the point better. Okay. Same with the other side. And again, we're going to do our lines. Move this out of the way. Again, you should really practice this. You should, honestly, you should probably do, but you should probably take about four soaps and just practice doing these lines. So I'll show you that at the end here. 
but at least for practicing these lines because you should get very good at these lines they should take you no time at all and they have to take you no time at all if you want to finish on time okay so you're gonna take the side that you marked up face towards you hold your soap like this pencil in the other hand nice firm grip as I showed you before this eraser is digging into the into the ground into the table my palms digging into the pencil and it's resting with my index finger and my thumb there I'm looking from the side okay so I'm looking from the right side and I'm gonna line it up right there okay that's that looks good and I just pull it across all right that line looks good there's nothing wrong with that so that's one of our sides okay so we look back here that's one of our sides. If our soap is like this, the center point would be here. Okay, that's our center point. That is here. This line here, which is the base of these cutouts here, this saddle and this notch here, that's this line that we just made. Okay, so if you look across, we need to make the other side, okay? So let's do that. Take this side, face it towards you again. Make the other line. I'm gonna do this a bit faster. There's our other line, okay? We have a centerpiece. The line above, three mils between those two. This line, it's gonna be our base for everything that we cut out on top. That's important. The bottom line here is going to be our reference line for our bottom slope, okay?